Let's see if it fills Monka S. Well, we're up to seven now. Okay, okay. Okay, just one more person. Yes, let's go. Thank you everybody so much for joining this queue. Wacky, I'm glad you didn't have to because I didn't want to have to ask that of you. So that'd be weird if you wanted to do something else. Let's see who's in it with me. Oh, of course, it's the Smasher. Okay. All right. So I think pack one, pick one here. We've got a Demon Bolt. Let's take a look at the Battle of Bredegard. Just makes a bunch of one ones. Um, Augury Raven, Rosbite, Longbow, Usher. All these cards are totally fine. Let's take the Demon Bolt and move along. Ooh, Mana War. I love that card. Otherwise, this is a pretty weak pack. There's an uncommon missing. Rank Officer is strong. But I think Mana War is best. Sandbar, not bad. Carrion Feeder can sometimes do work. Who's passing to me? Norin. Okay. I think I have a winning record against Norin. Here we go with more blue red. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm supposed to take sudden strength now. There's also lost in thought, which is totally solid, but um I think sudden strength is basically just a two for one. Um is really good. And lost in thought, you can sometimes be punished. Um Yeah. Oh wait, there's a Harvester Druid in the pack. Maybe I should be taking that. Ember Shot is not bad. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to take a cheat card here. I think it's either the Druid or the Sudden Sudden Strength. Hmm. It's probably the Druid. Alright, I'll take the Druid. Now we see Steeler, Ste bleh, Steeler of Secrets and Stab Wound. There's also a giant growth in the pack. I think I'm more interested in a Steeler of Secrets at this point. At this point the deck would be better if we had taken the Sudden Strength. But we already have a Mana War, which works nicely with the Steeler. We also have a removal spell. Stab Wound is not bad, but it's not great either. I think I'm supposed to take, oh, there's Mardu Horde Chief. I was gonna take Glacial Stalker. Mardu Horde Chief's really good. There's also a Weave Fate in the pack. Hmm. I think it's better to commit to blue, saying like, oh, it looks like blue is open, than do anything else at this point. I think this is a good pick. Stalker is good. No, sorry, Horde Chief and Weave Fate. Take the Stalker. Okay. Join Exploration. This is a good card. Alright, it does seem like blue is open, chat. That's the important thing. So this is Deliberate, the card we just had. Hey, stream team, good to see you. Vote a Sea Scavenger. Totally fine card, Haunting Figment. This is the this is either the last or like second to last chaos draft of the entire thing. Wow, there's already another queue with four players. That's awesome. Okay. Ten yeah, ten more minutes. Alright. Um the three one guy or whatever? No, I don't think that one's like too strong. Okay. Good pack. What does this one do? does flip into a 4-4, four, four. but it seems like it's kind of a lot of work to get it there. <laughs> one damage to up to one target creature. Maybe this is still good enough. Um, reinforcements. Just try the battle. Hmm. Does seem like white is open. There's also Draw Stripper, which is a totally solid black card. 
think I'm either supposed to be white or black, probably not red. Let's go with the draw stripper, I think. Hmm. Not very high confidence on this. Okay. This is anticipate, right? But better with the giants. Could just take the longboat. I think the longboat is good. Playable black cards in the pack. Mists isn't too bad. I think it's a long boat for me. Okay, lonely sandbar. Perfect. Lost in Thought Wield. That was nice. And these cards don't matter, I don't think. I guess maybe there's a weird world where Codex Shredder matters for somebody. definitely blue. Haunting Figment, not the worst either. So we do have some options for other colors. I don't think we were supposed to be in green, and red frankly didn't seem super open either, but I think we could pair the blue with white or black. Have a pretty reasonable deck there. Could play Dross Ripper just as a hill giant, which is not the worst. And a blue-black land could be good for us. All right. Precog Perception. So this is a draw three. Yeah, this card's good. Um, otherwise, Grotesque Demise is in the pack. There are some good Simic cards. Take the draw three. Passing maybe just a Senate Griffin for us. Okay, now passed in a braid. Also a torment of venom. So I could try to go into red even though it didn't look like red is open. I could take Aerial Guide to go with our mana war. Or whoops to go with our Stealer of Secrets. Like there's a red removal and a black removal. We already have a red removal, but it looked like red wasn't open. So I feel like if I take the braid, I'm just gonna end up kind of sad in pack three. I think I'm supposed to take aerial guide. I only have six creatures. I might really miss this a braid. The problem is I just don't know if it's gonna flow or not. I'm gonna take aerial guide. I'm not sure. Okay, well this is already kind of a garbo pack. There's like gnarled mass. It's like one of the best cards other than the Genju here. The mist blade is not the worst. Genju is good though. Okay, there's this, but there's also eaten alive. There's also that. I wonder if we're maybe just supposed to take the Nebelgast. Search Party Captain and Eaten Alive. Those are the good cards in the pack. I mean, this is double black. We know we're playing blue. Let's just try to pay close attention to how this pack goes. Okay. Is there anything good for me here? Maybe like a Loathsome Chimera could be one of the better cards. Otherwise, maybe just an Underworld Charger. The land, actually the land might be one of the better cards because we could end up splashing. Could end up blue black, blue, black, splash red for like Demon Bolt maybe. And I don't think the Chimera is anything special. I think I'm in in for the land. Okay, 
This guy's fine. We could also just take the Lemures. Oh wait, this is not the good Lemure. Okay, we'll take the Drakeling. Obviously we have a ton of three drops here. Okay, this is good. Vengeful Vampire, pretty good card still in the pack. Same with Hollow Henge Beast. Just need to ignore everything else, take the blue. Until finally we can't anymore. We could take the 2-4. Can we be a good Volcanic Fallout deck? Probably not, it kills almost all of my stuff. But I do think it's the most powerful card in the pack. So I will still take it. Sorry, Scornful Ether Lich. Okay. And then what's going on here? It's just a Simic Bear now for us. Two mana, one, three, Milligai. That card I think is really bad. Okay, strategic planning seems totally fine. And sure. All right, the league is pretty much now closed, so we have to make this one count. It's kind of a weird deck. We still don't actually know our second color. Okay, this is very good. I think I hate draft the plummet. I don't think this card is bad. Or playable. Okay. So, in this pack, I think we just have to take Vapor Snare, which can be good. Archon is good. Fledgling Griffin is good. This is a mind control with a big downside, but it's still a mind control. I thought I gave Flying for some reason. Ooh, Karstoderm. That's a very good card. Could maybe try to play green with Karstoderm. I mean, red cards in this pack don't exist. Grimclaw Bats is good. Spectre's Shroud would probably be good in this deck. Not sure if that means I should take it. I do think Spectre Shroud would be good in this deck, though. I have so many flyers. This is just a 4 mana 5-5. Five five. No, I don't think I want Savage Beating. This thing's really big. Let's just take the, the Shroud, I guess. Alright, well. There we go. Now there's a Rouse Outburst. Now we can play Blue-Red. We can stop waffling. Finally figured it out. Tithebear Giant is good. Roast, wow. Okay. Pendril Drake, there's also Rescind. Oh, Cathodian, my friend. How good is Cathodian? I think it's better than Pentral Drake. I think it's better than Rescind. We're taking it. There's now 4 mana, 2, 3, Flyer, Vanilla. Brute Strength, not bad. Gets this guy. Oh wait, Reality Hemorrhage. There's just a shock in the pack. Ooh, good thing I noticed that over there. I would have been kicking myself after that one. <laughs> Backwater can go, Flame Core Elemental can probably go. Okay, Craghorn, pretty solid card. <laughs> Yo, 
Yeah, that's right, Simic Demir. Though sometimes you're able to get even more. Wow, Hypervolt Grasp. I think I have to take this, but Train of Thought is really good. Yeah, I think I have to take Hypervolt Grasp. Unfortunately, this says combat damage, or we'd have a nice combo with the Grasp. Okay, we figured it out. We are, in fact, supposed to be in red. Let's take this shatter for the sideboard. Another hill giant. And this card, I think, is pretty solid, right? Get this thing back. It's pretty nice. And we get this one. But do we want the brute strength? I think we actually do. That was a tough one right there at the end. Alright. This is our deck. Definitely be happier if we had an abraid here, but still think the deck is pretty nice. The last one we were very much in a hurry with. This one we want to take our time. This one's going to be all about accuracy. Let's try again. Let's be a little, a little more thorough, a little slower with this. Okay. Rouse outburst. Demon bolt. Roast. Reality hemorrhage. Okay. Want to play the draw three. Want to play the mana war. Want to play the aerial guide. The Neville guest intruder. The stealer secrets. Want to play this two drop. Do we have any other two drops in the whole deck? I don't think so. So I think we probably have to play the long boat. Sea kite. Do we want Genju in the main deck? Maybe not. Play the Craghorn. I think I'm supposed to play Spectre's Shroud. I think I'm supposed to play joint exploration. I think we need to play the mind control. Probably the 4-5. Let's play the pinger. I guess we only have 10 creatures. Hey, Hanky, good to see you. Could play the Genju, maybe? I do think the Genju is good. You'd play the battle? I want to try it. I just don't know if it's any good. I think it's worth trying, though. And then maybe the Genju? You would just play strategic planning? Yeah, we do have... Yeah, we might just play both. I do think joint exploration is better. I think we have some instants in our deck. But it doesn't mean we can't play both. I do kind of want to find space for the Genju, but we also have Vapor Snare, which makes the Genju really awkward. I could play 16 lands. It's probably not crazy. Like, all the cards I have on my sideboard at least have some argument for them, which makes it tough. So I guess the real question is what would people cut? I think I'm going to take a quick break where I run to the bathroom, and then, yeah, 
just let me know what you all would cut here. You would cut the goat. The reason I like the craghorn is, I think of this as just removal, right? <clears throat> um, like you just play this, force your opponent to block, it's just a five mana removal spell. Maybe cut the battle. Might have to cut the battle. Um, can maybe bring the battle in against a deck with a lot of X1, X1s, which probably makes more sense. Maybe take the grasp out if the opponent has nothing like that. This battle doesn't really work as a top deck. <clears throat> um, brute strength aspect. Yeah, I think this is about right. It says we're at 11 creatures. We sort of have 12 um, with the longboat and sort of 13 with the genju. Craghorn is just worse than Aspect. I think it's okay though. I don't know. We might end up. There's a very good chance we'll make some changes here. I don't really need the red right away. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that means I should play 10 blue. I could go 11 6, or I could go. Um, 10, 7. I feel like 10 is plenty, though. Alright. <laughs> Goodbye, trophy deck. Hello, blue-red deck. So we know the Smasher was in that draft with us, which means we know the Smasher won't be drafting again after this. Okay, we got paired here. Well, we're paired versus Dawn. Yeah, there's the goat. <laughs> see if I miss any messages here. Where did that go? Here, Randall, good to see you.
Yeah, this thing might just be bad. Yeah, um, cube should have just started. Let's get that morph out of there. Nice. Wrist is definitely good. Gath and Raiders. Yeah, that's a good one to clear out of there. That's a knight. Uh oh. We're getting beaten down, chat. I think it's time to put the um, Hound Master in play under our control. Just try to trade the Cathodian for the Red Cap, probably. Gotta take six here. Really taking my my medicine. <clears throat> I'm, it's possible I'm supposed to leave back the sea kite actually. Goes for a pump here. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's start with the cycle. That's really good. Let's go land. Mox jet. It's a nice, nice pickup. I wonder if I'm getting. I think this makes sense though. And just pass. I might just die here. Mm, I think that was okay. Let's see what happens here. Wait, hold on. Okay. I could just roast this guy. Dang, okay. Well, I just have to hope they can't kill me then. Should I leave a blocker back? I think no. I 
think I'd probably die though. There's too many cards that kill me here, I think. Uh oh. Shoot, okay. So there's a lot of burn. We can't race. damage from that weasel back red cap. I kind of want to try to play volcanic fallout, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think this one can come in. Let's probably take out Spectre's Shroud, because I have to try to play defense. So lets me play defense here. I guess it's really just the fallout. Six, seven. But we have two. We have planning and exploration, which can also help me find red mana. And this is only. Is this. Well, this is going to be 10. But we can just cycle this. Certainly a volcanic fallout kind of hand. <laughs> I don't think I want either of these. Okay, Genju. to find the fallout. Okay, that's not bad. attack. I love that for me.
think I just pass. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I can just roast this now. Interesting, only pumped once. Let's use our scry here. I think a double blue card goes to the bottom. And I think I'm supposed to cycle my sandbar? I don't know. That's awkward. I 
guess I just play it. Oh, I am supposed to play it, and then I can scry every turn. Okay. Oh, I already played land, though. Okay. <laughs> In that case, let's just go for a foretell. Can't do anything about that, unfortunately. So I take three damage. Just like anything that costs like three or more mana here. <clears throat> Glad I didn't change my mana base, okay. Should be in good shape this game. I think I played this game pretty well. Not sure. Uh oh. Rebirth. Sure. Something like that, Hanky, I'm not totally sure. Okay, that's annoying. Hmm. 
Well, it's going to happen sooner or later. Let's go land pass. That's one we're gonna steal. And our thing is dead. So we should be in business now, assuming they have nothing else. That's bad for me. Control human, that's not great. Oh, they didn't attack though.
we go. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I think we win this one, chat. <clears throat> no. Okay, I mean, that itself is not the worst. Actually can't cast that, which is pretty funny. Boros charm. Mm -hmm.
So I think my next card is probably the, well, one of my next, like, two-ish cards. Why is this happening? Is the Hound Mask? Oh, it's that. Okay. How do you draw so many spells? Second, I thought I messed up there. Now we get to attack. There we go. That was a grind, a nice 19 turn game. This is what it's going to take, chat. We're just going to have to play 19 turn games here. Let's take a look at the opponent's deck. does seem like the battle is worth it against them. They have a number of X1s. I think I played that really well. Maybe not perfectly, but I think I made a lot of really good choices that game. How many artifacts do they have for the Echoing Ruin? Probably not enough. Only just the longbow. Problem is, if I don't deal with the longbow, I could easily die. Like, I'm probably not supposed to beat longbow. Thank you, yeah, I, I thought so. Maybe Pendrel Drake is better than Spike Tail Drakeling. Could see that. my spot on the draw here. Okay, good hands. Keep. No weasel back is good for me. Well, so I draw the fallout. We're gonna top that. Oh, they clicked through attacks. That's not ideal. Drink. It's not good for me. I think I'm probably just supposed to go for it here. Play two two drops. Okay, that's good enough.
Yep. Sure. <laughs> I'm supposed to pass here. This one shot. Oh, that's a knight. That's pretty cute. Actually, I don't like this line. I'm just going to do this, I think. I, I shouldn't have done it like this, but... I didn't get punished for that. That was a really bad play. Just take it. Reads run amok loud and clear. There can only be one trick here, so we can block. Or nothing happens, now we get to do this.
Okay. <laughs> I've lost my last like four or five matches against Don in the Discord, so <laughs> beating Don there is pretty huge. Smash is still at 14. Let's go, Chad. Let's fucking go. <laughs> okay, that was really hard. I think I'm supposed to run it back, though Grimag Drowner and Volcanic Fallout and the battle, every card we boarded in really pulled, um, like each card pulled its own weight by a lot, but let's try it one more time, like this. Whew. Okay, we're ping, playing a 0-0, zero, zero. so this person either recently finished a draft or they had a deck sitting for a while, we get to keep this hand. Joint Exploration is going to be looking for lands. Question is, are we supposed to just take an island? Or do we bottom islands here? Okay, well that makes things a little easier. Let's go with the... Do we want the Spectre's Shroud now? I think we do. Give us more flexibility for later. Green, red. Scary, okay. I think I have to play my creature. Can't block, of course. I have to try to make them discard. If they have removal, it's going to be ugly for me. It's a little like getting two for one. <laughs> okay, attacking is a good sign. Forest cycle. Oh, nice. That was a premium draw. This game is already looking pretty good. premium draw, I mean MTGO premium, who else has got it? Who else is paying off the, <laughs> the moto developers for draw steps? <laughs> Hanky has it too. I mean, Hanky, I've been meaning to say this, I don't know if I did yet or not, but um, your record is just amazing. Like the number of trophies you have versus the number of drafts like sometimes i do that well in like retail formats and cubes and that kind of thing i do not normally do that well in uh in chaos draft i don't think um i think i'm supposed to pass here <laughs> we can now give the craghorn flying which is a lot of damage We've mind rotted the opponent with the Spectre's Shroud and gotten two extra damage through. And we might make them discard a third card here. In fact, we probably will. Let's see what they're up to here. Do they have a removal? That would be annoying. Okay, probably gonna attack first. We'll take the damage. See what happens second here. X3 maybe, if we're lucky. X4, we can just Demon Bolt. I don't want to see removal. Removal would be the worst for me here. Mm, it's an X spell. Seems like removal. Oh, okay, nice. Hmm. I really have no idea which one of these I want. I guess it's Genju. Yeah, okay. This 
so that was a good game for us. Opponent is red green. They stumbled a little. Um, they have the logger. They have the spore crawler. They have forest cycler. They have um, out muscle. Yeah, it's always nice when a format clicks with you, right? And some of them, it's just like, um, you know, a little more clicking than others, I guess. Um, I think I'm supposed to play the Fallout. I think I'm actually taking... I could take out Hyperbolt Grasp. So the interesting thing is we actually know that um, they do have an X1 because they showed it to us. I guess I'm supposed to take out Spectre's Shroud. It's probably a little too greedy versus an aggressive deck like theirs. I think that makes sense. Not an amazing hand, but I do think it's a keep. There's the Fallout. Okay, nice. Looking for spells. It's not a spell, so no. Also play around the Fallout really nicely because both of our things here are like pseudo creatures. Let's see if they have the 2-1. Oh, they have this. I think I need to let them do that. I just hope they go land and play two two drops, basically. <laughs> That's not great for me. Here's a oh, forest cycle. Interesting, okay. So I think I now... I think I'm supposed to try to crew and block. Oh wait, oh that doesn't work. Oh shoot. So then I just sequenced my land incorrectly for no reason. Take a little more damage here. Actually, wait. If we didn't do that, then they would flip their thing into a 3 3. So, no, it was fine to do this. Seems like something big is coming. want them to play small creatures. Is that too much to ask? Here's a three drop. Sure. Just one more. Good enough. That's pretty darn good. I think I've got to roast that guy. I think I'm behind. Maybe not by a lot, but I still think I'm behind. Uh -oh. 
Sure. That seems pretty good. This is bad for me. Oh, gutter grime. Okay. It's not the literal worst. Okay. Two cards in hand. Nice, that's a really good draw, I think. This game now. comes the adamant thing, we're going to kill the spore crawler in response. I get to make a 2-2 here. they attack, they might die. No, it seems like they should die. This deck is so cracked. Yeah, Gutter Grind technically can work, but it's so darn slow. All right, 2-0 versus that opponent. They had a good deck, but could have been a little more challenging compared to the first match, which is 
just the way I like it. That said, my draw steps were extremely kind to me, and eventually we did kind of get them with the Volcanic Fallout. I'm starting to wonder whether Volcanic Fallout should be in the main. I think probably yes. Should I really cut the Spectre's Shroud for the Volcanic Fallout? Yeah, it is a crazy good card. Alright, let's just do it. The Spectre's Shroud can come in against the control decks instead of the Fallout coming in against the aggro. Alright, this deck has done so well for me. Just need it to do well one more time, then we'll be tied with the Smasher. Monsieur Verdu has been chasing me, of course. Let's go. Last match of the season. Let's make it count. Let's go, chat. This is it. All the marbles. We already had one blue-red deck that was good enough to trophy, and sadly didn't. Let's see if we can avoid that fate with this deck. Okay, tis but a scratch. Oh, we win the die roll. Love winning the die roll. Uh-oh, I accidentally double-clicked there. Whew. Thank God I did not hit the mulligan button. <laughs> Can you imagine losing by accidentally hitting the mulligan button? <clears throat> Alright. I think I'm supposed to keep this. We have the Temple of Malice. We'll get there on lands eventually. The is it mirror. Don't think I'm allowed to cast the Neville Ghast until the opponent attacks with something. Oh, the Grixis looking mirror. Oh, uh, okay. They play a Death Gree here. Alright, Cathodian off the top is gas. Yeah, it is hard to evaluate, and I agree with what you said about it. Okay, I would be happy with just a land to rouse out first that guy. Pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to go for. Dang, that sucks, Smasher. Attack, interesting. Um, I'll show you in a second. Yeah, my, my deck is pretty insane. I didn't know I was in red, but the red spells are like kind of the reason I've been alive. Well, <laughs> yeah, good point, Hanky. Let's stay focused for now. Fae of Wishes, okay. I think I'm just supposed to hit the opponent for three here. Interesting, why are they doing this? They have a minus two, minus two? Oh, they have that. That's annoying. But they didn't block with their one four, which is a totally free block. So I guess I'm not that upset. I guess I got punished if I wanted to use my Cathodian mana, but I really didn't. Would have wanted to use Cathodian mana before they played that trick, maybe, but right now I don't care. All right. Sure. 
No other rogues, apparently. Death Greeter is apparently the only creature that can enter combat. I think I just play land and pass. I don't have a good attack here. I want to use the Nebelgast Intruder eventually. Don't have anything good to steal. Hurts a little if they have a discard spell. Sure. I think we're a little bit behind. I mean, their card quality is fairly dubious, but... I did die to an eye collector in one game last night. I think I just want to... Wait, hold on. Four, five, six, seven. I think I want to play land and pass, and then I want to try to see if I can... Wait, oh, they can just discard two cards, but that's a pretty steep cost. I want to see if they just single block with the Fey, and then I can use the Nemblegast. Also, that Volcanic Fallout comment in chat is still accurate. The Pyramid is really good, though. It's going to be a tough one for us to beat. Alright, land? Mm, that's good, too. I guess I just... do I just play this face up? I think so. No, let's let's play it face down. They'll draw a card. They have a lot of card advantage, but how many cards in their deck are random one ones I don't care about? That is the question. Okay, okay. So we definitely crew. So they're going to kill my thing, which I can't do anything about, and my other guy just bounces off their guy. So in other words, Neville Gas doesn't do anything, but this doesn't do anything either. is obviously a good magic card. Hope they don't double block. Okay, they didn't. They have a counter? Pfft, annoying. That is actually pretty annoying for me.
Well, we're not exactly ahead. <clears throat> this is a lot of mana. I hope it's a creature. I feel like it's a... Oh, jeez. Okay. Could be losing this one. I mean, they're not going to cast Volcanic Fallout here. They'll probably cast, like... We already played Ral's Outburst, so they can cast, like, Demon Bolt. Yeah. Oh god, I didn't even realize. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Might be getting eye collected here. I didn't even look at what I had milled, by the way. I, wait, what? I'm not sure why they're doing this, but I think it's probably good for me. Creature or some kind of spell. It's not a spell, but it might turn into one. That's not bad. Should lose now, probably. Need them to play a creature. Okay, Fallow Sage, perfect. Look at this, Fallow Sage plus Vapor Snare with the Longboat. Draxus. Okay, bounce this. I mean, that means the Vapor Snare isn't getting bounced, so I'm happy about that. Take some... Wait, why aren't they milling me? Confused. Okay. I think I would honestly bolt the eye collector. Draw a card, okay. I mean, they're up like a million cards. Question is, do they do anything? That is really bad for me. Doesn't change my ability to crew. Let's click okay. Oh, there's the fallout. Hmm. I think I need to 
take the damage. This has already been a crazy game. Just please don't kill my longboat or my morph here. That's not ideal, but I think that's fine. Would have been more annoying if they'd killed my longboat. I'm like Twiddle's gonna take a hit from this. can't be countered against their deck too. And this fallout really is just broke back city, isn't it? exploitation for the best spell in my deck and currently and they have a bomb rare in play and currently it feels like we're alive I think the play here turn off auto yields I think the play is mana war hello chatters see the line they have something here probably that could be way worse for me In fact, I'm pretty happy they didn't just kill the longboat. Something's happening here. Boop. Boop that snoot. Yeah, we drew the fallout. We also played Mana War last turn to um, bounce itself. In response, crew the longboat. We're on, a, on our way to victory in this war. All right, let's go, chat doesn't even matter that the opponent took our draw three. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Not really sure what we're supposed to do here. <sighs> I 
Yeah, I was just thinking about that too, actually, Hanky. I think it makes sense to take it out. And probably put in the battle, because they showed a lot of X1s. Let's do it. Alright, folks. This could be to tie with the Smasher for all the marbles here. Would love a nice friendly tie. This hand sucks. I don't think I can keep this. This is good enough. This Temple of Malice has been critical. There's the Eye Collector. Oh shoot, just as I say the Temple of Malice has been critical. Um, yeah. I think we put that on top. We want them to mill it. And just hopefully they're disappointed by what it was. I didn't realize it was each player. Oh, that must have been why they stopped attacking. Wow, we drew the precog. It's a little bit spewy, but I think it's time to roast the 2 2. Just try to preserve my life total. If I can live to cast these broken spells, I should win. Reckless Scholar, that's a good card. Joint Exploration, sure. And... We've got milled here, just an island. Yeah, we do have the best spell in our deck in hand. Well, two, both of the best spells, probably. So though, we'll let them mill us. In case we wanted both cards on top, they got an island, which... Don't care about losing at all. And they play the edifice. So now if we can find the fallout, we like win the game. Please fallout one time. I think it's bottom both. Okay. Fallout. Okay, I think I'm supposed to kill the one that deals me more damage. Definitely main phase it so they can't... Oh nice, and then we can just use the battle to pick off the Reckless Scholar, sure. Stealer of Secrets. Is this a rogue, by the way? No, it's just a fairy. But the Prowl might be a fairy or a rogue, right? It's just that. Oh no, they played around it. It's really annoying. Just a rogue. Oh, Vapor Snare. There we go. Yep. Just gonna go for that. Just need to try to keep my life total high. Turn off auto yields just in case. game is stressful. We get hit down to 10 here. Before I 
was saying that I thought the um, whatever it was had flying. The vapor snare, I thought it gave flying. Now I realize um, there's a way for that to be true. Okay. This one. Can't miscalc it. We can miscalc this one though. Happy to pass here, I think. Or I could just hit the battle for three, honestly. It's probably better. Green mana. They're just gonna kill this, right? Okay, my guy's dead. Sure. Fallow Sage, that's pretty annoying against me here. Opponents are really doing their best to stay in this. We get hit down to seven. We've spent our removal spells very liberally too, like... Control Drake. Oh, for a second I thought I still had the thing in play. I think I'm just supposed to cast this. I thought I still had to bounce the land. I was getting ready for that. It's pretty annoying. It's honestly not that bad, though, because they still don't have an attack. Like, they can chump attack with a Fallow Sage. They do, okay. And the opponent has made it clear they intend to cross the finish line by just dealing me the remaining six damage. I'm gonna try to make that hard for them. I have to remember there's burn in my deck and they have knowledge exploitation, so I can still get gotten by that. I think at this point, I don't want to get miscalced here. Let's still just do this. Okay, we have five power of flyers to kill the battle. Killing the battle would be huge here. Okay, opponent passes. That's a great sign for us. We're like really, really close.
snap resolves. I think we win this game. Even if they have Curse of Death's Hold, I think we, I think we just got there. Is this the curse? There it is. Now it's just a matter of not messing up. I don't see any reason. I guess I could bounce this, kill that, replay it. I don't even think that's... maybe it's good. Let's start by attacking, I guess. Yeah, I think this is good enough. I think we win now. Seems like the answer is yes here, Henke. But we are also now the 1 1 deck, which is really funny. Comes the knowledge exploitation, okay. They can get. Wait, they can get volcanic fallout, but we still kill them, yeah. Actually, it's better to just play this, isn't it? Oh, I was supposed to get Mountain for more prowess triggers instead of Island. But wait, maybe based on how I tapped, I had to cast the... I don't know, maybe it was fine. We do need to win here. If we don't win this, we're going to be in big trouble. It's just a... What are they doing here? Draw a card, sure. opponent 
Let's go. What you got in there? idea what this could be. I don't think there's anything that good they can really get. They cast a 1-4 flyer, I'm just going to counter it. Let's turn off auto yields just in case. Thought bind. Okay, that's fine. So we should be able to kill them here. Here we go. And that should be it. Let's go, chat. Let's fucking go. Whew. There we are. We did it. We did it. Thank you, Hanky. Appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out in chat for so long, too. Amazing. What a great note to end on. We did it. All right. Whew. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the stream. We're going to go raid Randall. He's going to be playing some cube. And yeah, once again, hope everybody has enjoyed. It's been a long ride, very tumultuous. Made more than my fair share of mistakes, but ultimately, I feel good about how it went. So, hope you also feel good about how it went, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>